No more, we've had enough. Prince Mateen and Anisha Razda became involved in a continuing story after the Sultan of Brunei spoke out. The Sultan strictly follows tradition. His abrupt statement has cast doubt on the young royal pair's relationship and revealed Brunei's deepest issues. Prince Mateen and Anisha are being tested in ways that could impact their future and the royal families in ways no one expected due to rumors of difficult family expectations and the Sultan's palace life. Brunei's Royal Dynasty and Sultan's Power Brunei is one of the world's richest and most traditional royal families. Sultan Hassan al-Bolkaya is their strong leader. He is much more powerful than a king or queen. The Sultan controls the country's politics and his family's personal lives like an absolute master. His word. Finalist is Brunei's royal traditions, especially marriage, family, and culture. In this narrow environment, the Sultan's views on Brunei's royal family's cultural tradition influence even personal decisions. The Brunei Sultan is more than a figurehead. His wealth is estimated in the billions. His strength, wealth, and power help him rule his family and people. His opulent lifestyle is made possible by the country's oil and gas reserves, which provide most of his fortune. His Astana Nurul Aman is the world's largest private house. The property has over 1,700 rooms and its own luxury cars. As Brunei's leader, the Sultan represents riches and security, and this opulent lifestyle supports this perception. How his family observes Brunei's Islamic customs shows the Sultan's influence. Brunei strictly respects Sharia law, which governs morality and public behavior. This religious observance is crucial for the ruling family. They set an example for Bruneians. Thus, Prince Mateen, Anisha Razna, and other royal family members should uphold these historic principles in public and private. Any violation from these norms might draw public scrutiny and, more significantly, the Sultan's disapproval. The Sultan's convoluted family has long drawn attention to his private life, despite his public devotion to traditional values. Because the Sultan has been married, divorced, and had a large harem, a group of women whose position in the palace is still a combination of custom and personal choice, his relationships are often studied. These linkages suggest Brunei's royal image is paradoxical, especially as the Sultan's personal life has been full of conflict between his strong Islamic beliefs and his leisure activities. This disparity has altered public perceptions of the royal family and made it easier for the Sultan to manage family life. The younger royals, especially Prince Mateen and his wife Anisha Razna, are stressed. Mateen and Anisha are Brunei's junior royals. Their trendy style attracts attention in Brunei and abroad. Royal Mateen is known as Brunei's Star Royal because to his impeccable appearance in public and on social media. Anisha's Western style and entrepreneurial zeal appeal to people worldwide. However, their reputation and modern appearance make it tougher to match the Sultan's family ideals with public needs. Prince Mateen and Anisha's personal life aren't their own because the Sultan controls families. Anisha struggles with this control due of her new husband and powerful father-in-law. Anisha feels pressurized to be the Sultan's ideal royal partner in the royal palace, where every action and glance is monitored. She may disagree with Bruneian customs because she was raised in the West and has modern values, especially when she adjusts to a Sultan-shaped lifestyle. The Sultan's recent statement affected Prince Mateen and Anisha's relationship. What the Sultan stated shows what he expects from the newlyweds. These assumptions may alter their familial responsibilities. This announcement puts Prince Mateen and Anisha in a crucial situation. This message isn't just for the newlyweds, it also emphasizes the Sultan's responsibility in preserving the royal family's history, Prince Matin's fame, and royal duties. People have strong opinions on Prince Matin of Brunei and the monarchy's future. He is famous outside Brunei. He was raised with princely rights and obligations. His name is Abdul Mateen. He has established his own way by integrating traditional traditions with new ideals, unlike most individuals in his situation. Mateen grew up in the luxurious Istana Nurul Aman. He was punished as a child despite his wealth. His father instructed him to live a duty-bound life in line with Bruneian royal values. He had a rigid school schedule. It included religious and academic education, and his father instructed him to preserve Brunei's Islamic and cultural traditions. Mateen received military training at the Sultan's request, a major event for young royals, the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the UK, which trains leaders from royal families worldwide, accepted him. Mateen demonstrated composure and leadership in Sandhurst. He graduated high school and became a Bruni Armed Forces second lieutenant. This was his personal achievement and a tremendous statement of his patriotism. It demonstrated his loyalty and skill as a royal who was willing to work. This military training changed Prince Mateen's image. People admire his strength, intelligence, and Brunei loyalty. The royal family values service and discipline. Therefore, Matin's hard work made him a more trustworthy future leader. He represents dedication, loyalty, and power to his father. 
Matten faithfully upholds Brunei's customs, but has used his celebrity and position to modernize and humanize the royal family. Mateen has many Instagram followers where he publishes photos and videos of horse exhibitions, charity activities, and other interests. Royals are rarely so open, especially in Brunei. People love Mateen after learning about his bond with Anisha Rosner. She loves she she beautiful style. Matten's photo changed when she was there. Their marriage garnered media attention and made him a more relatable role model. They usher in a new era for the Brunei royal family, blending tradition and modernity. However, greater interest caused additional issues. Since they are royals and must meet high expectations, everyone watches Matten and Anisha's relationship. Mateen's life is complicated by the Sultan's influence, so the prince must tread carefully. His balance between doing what his father wants and going his own way in the modern world will shape his reign. The challenges of this work, especially since he is married to Anisha, increase expectations. These expectations seem to increase as he takes on additional family and national responsibilities. Anisha Rosner, the king's unexpected wife. Big changes came when Anisha Rosner joined Brunei's royal family. Her background and lifestyle modernized the conservative monarchy. Anisha grew up away from Brunei's royal court scrutiny, independence and desire to find her life before marrying Prince Mateen. She was ambitious, which is rare for Bruneian royals, but it illustrates how Western society shaped her. When Anisha married into Brunei's royal family, she changed drastically. She would have to adjust to royal life's formality and scrutiny. Family connections helped Anisha become queen. In Brunei, her family was close, providing her with networks that led to Prince Mateen. Before marriage, Anisha lived a forward-thinking lifestyle despite these bonds. She studied abroad and gained an international perspective by learning about diverse cultures and ideologies. These events shaped her modern, open-minded outlook. Her commercial and fashion enterprises demonstrated her ambition and set her apart from Bruneian royal women. Fashion remains crucial to Anisha's public image. Because she favors traditional and modern outfits, she has set Brunei fashion trends. Her outfits reflect her attempt to blend modern styles with regal norms. However, this delicate balance has proven difficult. Young Bruneians like Anisha's bold style. Traditionalists in the royal entourage have attentively studied her selections, perceiving them as a break from modest royal dress. The way others view Anisha is equally complicated. Her flair, assertiveness, and business sense have made her famous among modernists. Younger Bruneians perceive her as a symbol of transformation and a regal figure who matches their changing lives. This group likes Anisha because of her social media presence. Anisha is interesting because she challenges and transforms expectations of royal spouses due to her outwardness. Bruneian royalty is normally reclusive. Modernity comes criticism too. The royal family is traditional, thus change is rare. In a Bruneian family that prioritizes Islamic and cultural traditions, Anisha's Western lifestyle stands apart. Many have criticized her since marrying Prince Mateen. Her lifestyle contradicts royal values, they say. Her commercial agreements, social activities, and overseas brand relationships are closely watched. Some believe her worldview contradicts Bruneian values of humility and restraint. Since dating Prince Mateen, her life has gained attention. Her presence helps Mateen grow. The Sultan must defend the royal family's morals. The Sultan's new speech reminds her and Mateen that adaptability is crucial to her royal family future. Of the delicate balance between tradition and modernity, the Sultan's harem and its history. Brunei's Sultan's harem is fascinating and controversial. Over the years, Sultan Hassanal Bolkaya's rich ties and traditional yet rigid structure have made headlines. His family includes several spouses, ex-wives, and concubines. Some Islamic and regal practices match this old habit. However, Brunei's younger generation, especially Prince Mateen and Anisha, wants to exhibit the modern country differently. Polygamy is sometimes allowed in Islam. This suggests men can have multiple wives if they treat them fairly. Previously, Sultan Hassan al bulkaya followed this ritual. He's had multiple controversial marriages and partnerships in the U.S. and abroad. Since his dominion began, the Sultan has had many spouses. Many major power shifts have occurred in the royal family during these partnerships. This was his first marriage. As Raja Asteri, first queen, she is his most important wife. When the Sultan married other ladies, including Miriam Abdul Aziz, a former flight attendant and his second wife, his marriage got more complex. Married in 1982, Mariam was well known. She routinely attended formal occasions with the Sultan, enhancing his image as a traditional but forward-thinking leader. However, the Sultan divorced her in 2003. This strained Brunei's royal family. Media focused on the Sultan's marriage to Mariam, but other bonds were also covered. Several women have been his partners. They live comfortably while the Sultan cares for them, unlike formal spouses. They have no titles or public recognition. The Sultan has some solitude thanks to this agreement, but the royal women's dominance has led to gossip and suspicion. 
Rumors regarding the Sultan's harem have generated complications that portray a different side of him than his strict public image. The most controversial claims include former harem members who believe they were invited under false pretenses or pushed into relationships with the Sultan or other significant persons in his circle. Former Miss USA Shannon Marketic was involved in a famous case. She testified in 1997 that the Sultan and his brother, Prince Jeffrey, had lured her to Brunei with a public relations position. After arriving, she felt like she was in a jail with pricey and upsetting parties. The suit was thrown out due to diplomatic immunity, but it revealed the Sultan's palace operations and tarnished his image. Brunei's elders view the Sultan's lifestyle as sovereign privileges. However, younger folks who are more exposed to global gender and relationship norms are unsure how they feel about his harem. This gap between tradition and modernity is especially difficult for Prince Mateen, the Sultan's son, who must deal with his father's public expectations. Mateen feels pressure from his father's past decisions while he establishes his image. The Sultan's inheritance affects Anisha Rosnar. Her new family's gender roles are strengthened by the Sultan's ties. She will find it difficult to adjust to a lifestyle with traditions distinct from those she learned in Western schools. The Sultan's relationships differed from her and Mateen's. Her and Mateen's monogamy contrasts with the Sultan's polygamy. The Sultan's harem alters the family's global image. Brunei respects its royal traditions, although other nations may regard them differently. Western media have depicted the Sultan's harem as luxurious and outdated. The Sultan's harem indicates that Brunei's royal family must get along in a world that values openness and fairness. Matin and Anisha's handling of this history will shape Brunei's royal family. The royal family has troubles. Anisha's past relationships have always fascinated the public and media. She was recognized for her social life and sophisticated approach to relationships before she married Prince Mateen, but her life was secret. After joining the royal family, her former friends and ties became known, an ethical and traditional governance. These revelations have created much trouble. Even if it was common for someone from her culture, Anisha's past didn't always fit Brunei's royal demeanor, because the Sultan valued traditional family values. Social media has also raised questions about Anisha joining the royal family. Prince Mateen has many Instagram followers, but Anisha's is harder to manage. Anisha posted about her style, social life, and career before she got married. They portrayed a sophisticated, forward-thinking woman. After joining the royal family, Anisha's online life became contentious. Conservatives argue her posts don't match Bruneian royalty's modesty. They worry that her honesty may damage the family's reputation. This has forced her to tread carefully. These disagreements have raised concerns about Anisha's adjustment to royal expectations. Brunei's rigid regime is difficult to adapt to. Her royal family sources, Matin likes Anisha's unusual attitude, but not everyone shares his enthusiasm for her modern approach. This schism has produced family troubles, especially since the Sultan wants to maintain the royal family's Bruneian virtue. Because of her behavior, some doubt if Anisha can live up to the principles the Sultan has worked so hard to defend. These issues put Mateen in trouble. His love for his father and Bruneian customs remain. Mateen struggles between his affection for Anisha and his family's wishes. Rumors exacerbated the issue. Matin's prominence and the couple's modern image may not meet the Sultan's family goals. This has raised concerns that Matin's modern attitude may undermine his regal status. Many interpret the Sultan's recent comment as a clear yet veiled warning, worsening conditions. The Sultan showed his disapproval of Mateen and Anisha's lifestyle by vowing to uphold traditional values. The Sultan didn't explicitly discuss his son or daughter-in-law, but his timing shows that the recent public debates and scandals surrounding Anisha's background impacted him. Mateen and Anisha are struggling after this comment. Sultan says it's over. A turning point came when the Sultan spoke. He rarely discusses family. His latest statement stunned the royal family and sparked suspicions that Bruni's ruling hierarchy may alter. Many royal family members perceive the Sultan's statements as a harsh warning to respect traditional traditions. Any perceived break from the moral norms he has fought for his whole tenure is unacceptable to him. The Sultan didn't specify, but his statement seems to have been regarding Mateen and Anisha's issues. Anisha's Western heritage and modern lifestyle startle Brunei's traditional groups. It appears the Sultan may wish to stop Bruneian culture violating activities. It's over, and we can't take it anymore are powerful words he employs to remind people not to harm the crown prince's reputation. Many use this term to return their family back to their ideals. Matin and Anisha may have less freedom due to tighter constraints. Everyone suddenly watches Prince Mateen. His closeness to Anisha has modernized the royal family. However, the Sultan may not like this development for Brunei. The Sultan's comments matter to Anisha. Fresh to the family, she has brought a fresh lifestyle and perspective that has astounded and frightened Bruneians. 
The Sultan's statements may ask Anisha to adjust her behavior, implying that as Mateen's wife, she must observe royal rules. Despite her efforts to adjust to her new life, the Sultan's statement suggests that tradition's modifications may be received with resistance. Mateen and Anisha receive this call. What do they do? Will influence the Bruneian royal family's global image, whether through greater changes or silent defiance? Sultan, Prince Mateen, and Anisha's heritage. The Sultan's decree tells Mateen and Anisha to observe the royal family's long-standing conventions, even though their renown and global appeal are beneficial. The Sultan worked to preserve Brunei's character as his legacy. Mateen and Anisha must follow his example of respect, privacy, and rules. Mateen must adapt his public persona to the Sultan's intentions while maintaining his global appeal. Anisha may have to adjust her Western lifestyle to maintain the family's Brunei reputation. Mateen may need to adjust his public behavior to succeed. His popularity as a modern royal has elevated his standing in Brunei and worldwide, but the Sultan's statements suggest he may need to perform more traditional royal duties to maintain his family status. He must discover out how to satisfy his father without sacrificing his qualities as a royal representative that people admire. As he takes on greater responsibility, his ability to uphold Bruneian values and look ahead will shape how people view the monarchy's future. The Sultan's wishes may change Anisha's job. Her unique style and attitude have brought a fresh layer to the royal family, but the Sultan insists on tradition. Because of this, she may play a symbolic role that emphasizes support and modesty above public activity. What the Sultan said affects Brunei's royal family's response to a rapidly changing globe. Young Bruneians are increasingly exposed to foreign influences. The royal family will be shown how to blend tradition and modernity through Matin and Anisha's journey. How successfully the family handles these issues may affect how they engage with Bruneians and the world. Most significantly, it could demonstrate if they can preserve Brunei's past, while remaining open to current possibilities. Mateen and Anisha's destiny is no longer up to them. To preserve the Sultan's name, can Prince Mateen and Anisha's modern ideals and the Sultan's old world values coexist? Comment what you think. Please explain. Finished for now. See you next film.